Welcome to the Over 40 Alpha Podcast with your host, Funk Roberts. We are live. We are live. We are live, people. And welcome to the Over 40 Alpha Podcast. This is episode number 36. And I'm your host, Funk Roberts. I'm a former professional athlete turned master metabolic trainer, Amazon best-selling co-author, and I'm a transformation specialist specifically for men in their 40s, 50s, 60s. And again, thank you so much for taking your time to listen or watch this podcast, episode 36. Here at the Over 40 Alpha Podcast, we focus on helping men over 40 increase testosterone, lose weight, um, you know, get in the best shape of their life through nutrition, health, workouts, recovery, mindset, and, and everything to do with helping us increase our hormones and balance our homo- hormones. And today I'm excited because today we have uh, Arista Bogner as our guest. She's the creator of the Travel Roller. Listen, foam rolling is huge, guys. If you want to build muscle, if you want to decrease energy if, or energy, if you want to decrease injuries, um, decrease chances of injuries, if you want to um, you know, prolong your your exercising and just be healthy, have healthy bones, healthy muscles, health, healthy joints, then foam rolling needs to be something that, you know, you need to stay on top of, something that you need to add to your arsenal. You're the recovery pillar, right? I talk about, you know, workouts, nutrition, mindset, but recovery is huge. And, uh, you know, we want to be able to exercise. We want to be able to live Injury free, you know, pain free as long as we possibly can. So using foam rolling, self myofascial release is a phenomenal way to do it. I'm happy that Arista is here. She is an international fitness model. She's a mobility coach. She's an entrepreneur who created the travel roller, which I have here. I've got a few of these. We use, we've been using these for years. I've been, I've known Arista for many, many years. I've had her on one of my old podcasts. I have, we have a whole bunch of travel rollers here at home that we take with us to the gym or when we're training or even going away like Thailand. We'll take it to Thailand with us because it's so easy. It's amazing foam roll, which you're going to learn about. You're going to learn about why these are so good, but just foam rolling in general, not, not just they, these ones. This is, I'm just showing you this because this is what she created. But Arista has a bachelor's on, uh, bachelor of honors degree from um, in kinesiology from the University of Western here in Ontario, Canada. She's won numerous fitness titles. She's got a background in national caliber tennis. Um, so she's had a high fitness experience in dance, yoga, weight, weight loss, body sculpting, holistic rehab. She's, she's huge in regards to knowing a lot about, um, you know, athletes, a lot about training, a lot about, you know, losing weight and just being healthy. And she even suffered from athletic, uh, you know, burnout years ago, which caused her to actually create the travel roller. Uh, she had chronic back pain, weight gain, fi- fibromyalgia. You know, I'm going to let her talk about it. I'm going to let her tell you about it. But I think this is amazing because the travel roller that she's created has been uh, used by many psychotherapists, f- sorry, physiotherapists, crowd, uh, uh, chiro- chiropractors, athletes, fitness enthusiasts, sports teams, like, you know, like professional sports teams use it. So it's amazing. But um, I'm really excited about this podcast. I'm really excited about the travel roller. And just before um, you listen, I just want to make sure that I get this. We'll be giving away, not giving away, but you'd be able to get one of these travel rollers. If you go to over 40 shred.com forward slash travel roller and put in the discount code, over 40 alpha, you'll get 10% off the travel rollers. If you don't have a foam roller, you'll you'll realize why you need that travel roller when we talk about the roller. But before we start, as usual, I just got a couple of things to talk about. This is muscle month. This is the last um, week that you guys have to win creatine. Um, so this is February. So if you listen to this in February 2020, then I'm giving away three bottles of creatine. What I need you to do is go to over40shred.com forward slash contest. You're going to win the performance creatine. This is my number one, uh, 100% creatine monohydrate creatine, of, as you know, most studied, uh, most effective for building muscle, most effective for recovery performance, if you want to increase better your performance, um, if you're like a, an athlete, or even just brain health too. A lot of studies are coming out. This is great for brain health. So I think men over 40 specifically, if you're trying to build muscle, should be using uh, creatine. So I have this creatine. I'm going to be giving away to three people. All I need you to do is two things. Number one, go to over40shred.com forward slash contest. Put your email address in the box. Once you click submit, you're going to go to Apple Podcasts where I want you to leave a review. We need reviews. The more five-star reviews that we get, the better 
the guests that we have and the better this podcast does. That's all. I just need your help. And I'm going to try to bribe you with these beautiful supplements that I have, my funk supplements. So please go to over 40 shred.com forward slash contest. Go through those two steps. We'll take you a couple minutes. Um, we had three winners last month for the lean pro 30 or protein. Now I'm giving away creatine so you can win too. And uh, before we start, again, I've partnered with a company called Let's Get Checked. These are my go-to guys. You know that my whole existence right now is helping men over 40, 50, 60 increase their testosterone naturally. But you cannot increase your testosterone naturally, put a plan together until you know exactly where you are with your testosterone levels. It's so important to know where you are with your testosterone levels. In fact, I just talked to my buddy who was resistant to doing it, and then I I said, listen, like I kept saying, listen, you need to check. You need to check. So like, you know what? I'm going to check. So he grabbed this. He bought this and is going to do it. It's coming in the mail. I just talked to him on the phone like two minutes ago. It's amazing. My boy, Jay, JR, I'm not going to give out your name. But yeah, man, as men over 40, 50, 60, we need to, anyone needs to know where testosterone checks. So I've got this home testosterone kit, over40shred.com forward slash test kit. Put the discount code FUNK20 because you can get 20% off. It's already it's already uh, uh, very inexpensive. So once you get this kit, they'll ship it to you. It takes like two to five days. I live in Canada. It took two days to get to me. You'll get all this information. You'll fill out some information online. Then you'll see that little, this little thing here. I'm not going to take it out. But right here, you just put some blood in there. You prick your finger. Give them some blood. They have every every all the packaging already there for you. So all you do is you... First thing in the morning, as soon as you wake up, no food, you just, no water, just prick your finger, put it in this vial, shake up the vial, throw it in the bag, put it in the post, post stamped envelope that they give you, pre post stamped envelope they give you, take it to UPS and ship it out. Now, once you ship it out, it'll take a few days to get there. Once it gets there, they're going to get send you an email saying, hey, brother man, I just want to let you know that we received your information and we're going to, um, we're going to process it. And then they're going to send you an email with your results. So you're going to go through the results. Well, you're going to do two things. Number one, if, you're, if, you're, if your testosterone levels are low, you're going to do two things. One, you're going to get a call from a nurse who's going to set up a consultation and talk about your options. Number two, you're going to go to over40alpha.com, join our 30-day free trial, because I'm going to take you and help you to increase your testosterone like I do month after month, year after year, Many, 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 many men are t boosting their testosterone naturally, losing weight, getting in the best shape of their life using our Over 40 Alpha program. So go to over40alpha.com, sign up once you get your testosterone. But first, you got to go to over40shred.com forward slash test kit. All right, I'm done, guys. Enjoy the podcast. Get it done. We are live. We are live. We are live, brothers and sisters, or mostly brothers, because this is the Over 40 Alpha podcast. I'm your host, Funk Roberts, and today I'm excited to have Arista Bogner on the podcast to talk about foam rolling and, and you know, um, myofascial release and self-massage and all the good things that we need, uh, specifically as we get older in our 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond, things that we need to be focusing on in order to, you know, decrease injuries, be healthier, um, anti-aging, all the good things. So, um, Arista, thank you so much for being on the podcast. How are you? Thanks for having me, Funk. I'm great. I'm feeling better than ever. And it's crazy. In about two years, I'm going to be 40. So, yeah. I'm, for 40, but I'm feeling younger and better than ever. I've been rolling for like 13 years. So. I know. It's unbelievable. Like, you don't, first of all, you don't look. You're 38, obviously, because two yeah. minus 40 is 38. Yeah. Um, and also, I mean, I was doing some creeping. You look phenomenal. Like you just had a, no, you had a, you've had a, how many kids do you have? I one. have one child. Okay, yeah. He's great. He's getting bigger too, by the way, because I yeah. think the last time we spoke, you yeah. just had, you may have just had him or before. Yeah, yeah. he's going to be four years old. And uh, yeah, I'm still working on my, my six pack. Is still I know there. that's unbelievable, man. I know. I saw it. I saw the pictures. Like this girl's got a six pack ripped, shredded, had a child. You're ripping it up, man. It's amazing. You know, prepping for pregnancy is a huge thing. And it's not just um, being a mom, but being a dad. Because a lot of dads gain yeah. weight um, when their wife has a baby too. And about, uh, you know, doing all these tricks to keep you healthy and fit as we age. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that is a big thing. Um, I haven't, I've never really covered that, but you're absolutely right. Like men, when they're, when their wives are pregnant, 
they kind of make that the excuse to take time off of their health and, you know, of them getting, you know, staying in shape because listen, you know, once, uh, once that baby comes out, you've got to have energy, right? You have to be, you know, you can't be getting sick. You can't be, you know, you have to be pretty much in the best health that you can because you're the one, you're one of the two that are going to be there trying to do the, your best to, to, you know, make sure that this baby grows up healthy. And if you're, if you have no energy or you're always tired or you're getting sick all the time, that's not a healthy environment. So as a father, it's even more, um, uh, you know, we even more have to, um, it's even more crucial that we, you know, um, get in the best shape we can, you know, stay healthy. Yeah. Well, and, and just developing that resiliency, right. And that's what um, the regeneration is, is really just amazing. It's like, you know, we are already doing too much. We have so much stress in our lives, mm -hmm. whether having a child working or even just, just, just life, even just trauma, toxins, your thoughts. Um, create a lot of stress in the body and these can create tightness in the body and by just remembering that we can do a lot of work like you need to recover so how much recovery you need to do to feel optimal right and then and then you know to get the baseline where you're feeling okay because a lot of people are part of you know they're broken there's mm -hmm. back pain, there's injuries there's things there's tension in the muscles there's soreness and and the, to get ourselves to just feeling good you know, it's a point you need to get there, and then we can improve our performance. Now we can be feeling like an athlete, and 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 really getting to awesome performance to get into that lifestyle and into that life where you're, you know, just just rocking it. So yeah. that's where we want to get. We got to get the, the broken people to baseline, and then from baseline, let's be awesome, right? And that's where I think um, if you're 40 years old going towards 50 and 60 as we age we've got to do the homework now so i'm really excited to share with you guys more about foam rolling and myofascial release what it is and how you guys do it yeah so before we get into what uh myofascial release is how did you like what's your background how did, tell us a little bit about the your journey to where you are I was much always just an athlete in everything i never specialized in everything um from tennis to skiing to track i was a all Ontario javelin thrower. Um, I did dance. I did everything. But then there was a point in my life my body just broke. And this is a point where there wasn't much talk about foam rolling at all. Um, I went into uh, kinesiology um, to study at University of Western Ontario, did my degree. There wasn't any talk about foam rolling. And there was a point where I started gaining weight. I had shin splints i had compartment syndrome in my lower leg where it felt like i could not even walk mm -hmm. and this is an area where it's really low oxygen um, i had back pain i had neck pain and my body actually at 25 years old was like crippled and out of shape and i'm like i was a fit healthy person and how could this happen and i didn't um you know i was given a from a high performance sport coach i was given a pipe to roll on I'm like, I'm not rolling on a pipe. That's too hard. It's crazy. So we wrapped a yoga mat around it and it became the travel roller. And I rolled on the travel roller for six months every day for one hour. Ooh. And without any massage, without any chiropractic treatments, because I couldn't afford it at the time. And I repaired my body to the point where I could start exercising again. And mm. I lost the 30 pounds that I gained and I could start getting back into shape. My neck improved, my back improved, the pain got better. And then, you know, I was a trainer and people were like, yeah, this is an amazing tool. And there was um, high performance sport world in Bobsleigh, Canada and top, um, you know, business people in Calgary, they wanted it. And so we, we made over 10,000 um, handmade travel rollers starting in Calgary, Alberta. And this product was the first original travel foam roller. So before then, there was no of these rollers everywhere. There was just a big long roller. And like, this does not make sense. Everyone should have the ability to have this small tool that they can have a massage in their in their bag. They should take yeah. it with them everywhere they go. And people should have the opportunity to manage their own self-care like a professional athlete does. Mm -hmm. Like you know, somebody preparing for the Olympics. We as normal people, we should have that ability to do that. And so this tool fixed me, it fixed so many people. And now, I mean, I have NHL teams call me up. I want the whole team suited up. We have professional soccer, Olympians. And 
and you guys, like mm-hmm. you guys are the ones who it was made for, just the average, you're not average, but the normal person totally. who just needs some help and cannot afford um, to get a massage every day. Or, I mean, you guys probably don't even get a massage once a month or even a couple times a year. Like we need to do this. If you, it's just like brushing your teeth. You should be foam rolling your muscles. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, one of, one of the pillars in, in my over 40 program and that I tell all men over 40, you know, you have nutrition, you have workouts, you have a mindset, but recovery is huge. And you also have sleep. But the other portion is recovery because, you know, we want to have a sustainable lifestyle that allows us to, you don't have to be working out like a you know professional athlete, but we want to be exercising. Like we always, you know, you should be always exercising, you know, hiking, going on walks in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond. And we need to be injury free and we need to keep inflammation down. And, you know, because all of these things affect our testosterone, affects our hormones. You know, when our, you know, when our stress levels are high, cortisol and inflammation's high, cortisol levels are high, blocking testosterone, because that's the number one thing for us men is testosterone. So yeah. one of the things I talk about is recovery. We always have to do things that will help us with recovery, whether it's you know, going to a massage therapist or what have you. But a lot of these guys, they just don't either have the time to be booking massage therapy things. They don't have the money or most importantly, they just don't want to take advantage of, of, they may feel weird. They may just literally just feel weird going to a massage therapist. And one thing I've noticed in in the fitness industry, the guys, I mean, you guys have a lot of muscle and a lot of tissue. You guys are the ones that need it the most. It's the densest amount of tissues um but it's not like being weak so just because you're getting a massage does not make you feel appear weak okay it's making you in control of your own body and being in tune with your body knowing where your aches and pains are knowing if you have asymmetries so if you're going out for a run and on the right side you're just hobbling around like you need to wake up and realize whoa i am totally out of whack here i need to balance myself out because We'll talk about this later, but that's what causes all these problems. But it's it's called self care, self love, and mm-hmm. guys need to do it too because no one else is going to do it. And sometimes um, we just need to take that time for ourselves. And it's being aware. And if you're you're a master of your own little temple, so you need to just take care of yourself. Yeah. So let's talk about. Okay. So let's back up. Let's go back to the. Let's go back to the beginning. What is foam rolling? Because there's a lot of people who are listening to this right now have no clue what we're talking about. They're just like, what are these two talking about? So let's go. Let's talk about what a what foam rolling is or or self. My yeah. Own fashion. So foam rolling is a tool. So this is a tool that you can use. This is a travel roller, but you can use other tools to um, do self guided massage. So it's called self myofascial release, and it's using the process of using tools to massage out to aches and pains and knots and to affect the fascia in your body. And so that's what actually we're rolling. We're not actually rolling. Well, we are rolling our muscles, but we're rolling. We're trying to change the fascia. And, and what is what is the fat like for those people who don't? What does fascia do? Like, why do we need to be changing that in the first place? Yeah. So fascia is the interconnected webbing in between our body. And it's in between our muscles and our bones. And it is, um, it gets these adhesions in it. And um, this is what we're working. And we're trying to um, elongate and, and maintain this nice webbing. If you can visualize a chicken um, leg. So if you're cutting up chicken and you take apart this top of the skin of the meat and you pull that apart, you're going to see this spider web mm. um, type of webbing. And that is what fascia is. So it's in the animals and it's in our skin and so that's actually what we're rolling and it you know there's different fascial lines and tracks but when we are rolling we are affecting that glue that sticks us together and this fascia can get damaged by um different traumas and injuries so if you think of yourself as like a sweater you have a sweater and you pull this the strand of sweater and all of a sudden we do this Mm -hmm. and so now we have this kink in our body and we need to fix that But if you keep getting all these kinks and and pulls in your body, all of a sudden your fascia is going to be changing. And so by rolling, we are, you know, feeling better. We're, you know, we're helping with our pain and our dysfunction. We're rolling out those knots and muscles. And there's so many benefits of self-myofascial release. Yeah. I mean, 
you know, again, when we get to 40, 50, 60, we're broken. You know, like if we haven't done anything, we're broken. Like even I'm broken. I'm broken. I've had years of, of playing professional volleyball on the beach and indoor. I've Now I have years of, you know, trading Muay Thai and MMA. My body's broken, even though I look like, you know, I'd be in great shape and, you know, I'm fit as a fiddle. My body's broken. I got back problems. I got my tight hips, you know, and so foam rolling for me is is essential, right? It's it, it's totally essential because if all of this stuff is tight and I continue to work out, then I continue to get injuries. And if I continue to get injuries, then I can't stay fit. Like if if anyone's listening right now, your goal is to maybe lose weight or, you know, build muscle or, you know, just just get healthy. If you're always injured, you know, you can't work out. And that's one of the things that help us feel good, you know, confident, just being able to work out injury free or even pain free. So doing these things like uh, foam rolling, and I'm sure everyone who's gone to a gym has seen now, has seen a foam roller, big, long, blue foam rollers, which I, I definitely don't even touch because I just think like so many people <laughs> have used that freaking foam roller. They're disgusting bodies, they're disgusting sweat. There's no way you're gonna find me using the foam rollers at the gym. Oh, you need your own personal one for your own skin, mm. your own <laughs> sweat, and you don't want to be touching it. Um, a lot of those foam rollers, they're open cell. So it actually, all that bacteria actually stays in there. No matter how hard you, you wipe them, they're not going to come off. Whereas the travel roller is closed cell foam, and it's completely washable, sweat-proof, waterproof. And that's why you know a lot of the NHL teams love it, because mm. you can do that, and you can replace the sleeve. Um, but yeah, you don't. You want to have your own roller, not only just to bring with you, um, mm -hmm. bring with you to the gym when you're traveling and at home. It's not just about that. It's about being smaller and more effective. It's about the technique, not and and about the tools and the technique. So, do you think um, foam rolling would be like probably one of the best recovery tools that like the normal person can have and use, like just foam rolling? People, you know, they have these little balls and they have little sticks and stuff like that. But the travel roller or the foam roller is, um, it treats a, the whole entire body very quickly, very effectively, and it very in a deep way. So we're getting to the deeper layers of the tissues. And it, at the same time, you're engaging your core. So you're, you're posturing on it, you're, you're planking on it, you're getting down on the ground like a child would. Mm. So as we are babies, we learn how to roll around and get on the ground. And this is really important to develop our, our core strength and moving around. And so that in itself is a great way. You need to be moving. And mm -hmm. if it's just, you know, a ball here and a little stick thing here, it's not going to do what you need it to do. Your body, use it, you know, in a holistic way. You should be rolling everything. And and then from there, you know what is actually tight. And, um, and it, it really gets, you know, a large amount of work done and very quickly. Yeah. So, so if someone starts foam rolling, like, so let's say, okay, I'm going to start foam rolling. What are some of the benefits that I can, that I think I'm going to get from rolling? Yeah. So one is um, increased circulation. So mm -hmm. a lot of the problems that we have is when we get those um, knots and aches and pains, they lack oxygen. So you're going to get a knot in there. And then over time, there's areas just have less oxygen, less oxygen, like your calves, they get really mm -hmm. tight at the top of your leg, um, you know, or, you know, maybe your quads. And, and these areas um, are really tight, so we need to loosen up. So increased circulation is going to improve the recovery. So you're going to be flushing up the tissues, removing the waste products by exercise, the lactic acid. Mm -hmm. um, it also stimulates the lymphatic system, which is really important um, for just general health. So we're removing the waste products. As well, um, we're going to improve the contraction of the muscle. So you know, if you're always trying to work harder, um, sometimes your muscles are not activated, so it's going to help with the neural stimulation, um, as well as um, you know you just you're just going to feel better. You're going to move that pain, so you can function better, and you'll be more functional. So um, there's so many benefits of foam rolling, from performance to just pain reduction, releasing the tension, yeah, um, yeah. Re releasing stress is a huge one because this is at a time where you can actually just calm down you can roll out if you're you know you could be on your phone you could be doing all this stuff you could be reading you could be multitasking while you're phone rolling um and you're or before bed if you just mm. lay down massage your neck and reducing stress to reduce that cortisol yeah i never even thought about that yeah but um 
that is a good thing. Just before bed, you know, you go do a little five minute roll, relax yourself. And then, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of ready to go. You know, you're ready to get that sleep, that, uh, okay. that important ready sleep. Roll. Ready to roll. So before you go to sleep, it's a great, it lines your spine, mm -hmm. um, it lines your neck and it really sets you up for success the next day. Yeah, that's great. So, um, you know, so we talked about uh, some of the reasons and the benefits, specifically for us guys uh, who are older. You know, you talked about, um, you know, flushing out the lactic acid. A lot of times, you know, these guys are working out and they don't stretch after their training, right? Before some people roll. So what are the best times to roll? Like before you work out, after you work out, during your workout? Like why don't you kind of break that down? Yeah, there's many theories that people, but, um, you know, kind of what I recommend is um, pre- workout okay simulation so an athlete's gonna go in there and what you want to do is a quick rollout to do a body check make sure nothing's injured nothing's too tight um and then you want to get the blood flow in there really quick and great create great stimulation mm. before you work out because you want to be energized you want to be activated before you work out so let's say you get into the gym you know and you have trouble getting going well you're rolling on the ground you're engaging your core you're actually starting to get a little bit of a sweat um mm -hmm. i have lots of videos out about prepping for your workout and you're going through your calves you're going through your quads you're aligning your back because then you're able to um you know improve your efficiency and your function as you exercise so i say before is going to be a quick you know five ten minute prep could even be two minutes because right. you're really awesome. you can really try to get blood flow and get warmed up and then you can follow that by your you know your core activation or glute activation whatever you do do your workout and then i don't recommend foam rolling right after your workout okay wow that this that is huge that's an aha moment because most people yeah foam roll after they work out there's some you know some as most people do. I see them at the gym rolling, and I'm just like, oh, you know, is that yeah. really effective? Because really, you, should, you know, you should be having a good workout, and then you should be recovering. Either it could be going for a nice walk or um, walking it out, cooling down, and then I say, mm. you don't want to be activating the, the the blood flow again. Right. You know, you activate the blood flow. You're pumping the the blood. You're you're breaking down the tissues by you know whatever workout you did, and then you should be just letting it restore and let the doms that in and then in the evening or just you know a little bit away then you should be doing your regen work okay. so a little bit more time because what i recommend is the prep should have been done the day before mm. so you should have been prepping the night before for your workout this day so the regen is at night so if you want to do the longer five, 10 5 10 20 minutes whatever you can give it's a compound effect right, right. The compound more you effect. do it the better the if more you do Broken, spend yeah. more time in the evening. Again, don't make it like, oh, I'm just wasting my time rolling. Okay, go on your laptop, on your core, get on those quads, um, you know, read a book while you're watching a movie, get on your cap, you can put it on a coffee table, whatever you have to do. Mm. Um, some people bring their balls um, and things to work, yeah. um, or in their purse, some women, um, and then they put in the office, you can do a little quick roll it on your shoulders, you can roll the balls in your pecs, your glutes well during the day, get it in a little bit because that compound effect is amazing. Um, so before you work out, do an activation. Real, it's, it's real quick activation, going, just glossing all the way through, getting that stimulation, getting activation. Um, don't do it right after. I mean, if you have a, like a little kink while you're working out, like, oh, I just did a deadlift and oh, my back is killing. Maybe you should actually go dead right now. Just get on the roll right now, fix it, mm -hmm. get to fix it, and then continue. Yeah. Um, and then before you go to bed, spend the time. Um, because, I mean, is it really effective? Maybe if it feels good, but you really shouldn't be getting more blood flow in there. I mean, that's yeah. what I Yeah, I mean, I, I like that. I, I agree with you. I think, um, you know, activating, getting the blood flowing, and, you know, rolling out. I mean, I remember speaking to you before talking about like when we're, when you're rolling, you don't have to roll the entire body. Like these are, these aren't athletes. These are guys who, you know, are going to do a, a full body body weight workout or a dumbbell workout. But if there's specific areas that need a little bit more time, like, Oh, my shoulders are a little bit tight from, you know, the workout yesterday or from whatever it is, then you can spend more time, you know, focusing on the shoulder. You're, you're going to do a dynamic warm up anyway. 
But, you know, just to start the activation, I think, you know, you focus on that specific area. If you want to roll the whole body, you can. But what I find is a lot of people go into the gym and they spend 20 to 30 minutes on their pre, pre-workout, whether it's warm-ups, activations, all of this, you know, stuff, which, believe me, is very important, but not 30, 20 to 30 minutes of it. You know, that, that's, you have no time to work out. So, you know, I like that you can go in, listen, you know, my, my quads are a little tight. Let me just roll those out a little bit. You know, if there's any other areas I can, you know, if you, on, on your days off, maybe that's a good time to do the full body roll, you know, to spend a little bit more time. But then I love the fact that, you know, after the workout, I'm always, you know, you got to stretch, right? Like you cool down, then you stretch because we want to keep staying flexible. We want to, you know, do that stretch. And then later at night, you know, or, or a little bit later, when you find time, that's when you do the regen. Regen means yeah. just re- regenerating the, the the muscles and the and the blood well, flow. And getting to those deeper layers too, right? Mm-hmm. So when we're doing the activation, a lot of the times, like I said, it's a quick over the top top of the muscle, just the top. It's a superficial, you know, it's a top layer. Mm-hmm. When we're doing the regen, we want to get really deep okay. into the bottom layer. So we want to get deeper, and this is where the physiological effect is going to happen. Okay. When you're actually, so the physiological effect, the change is not going to happen when I'm doing an activation. Okay. And the change is going to happen in the evening when you're putting in the time, when you're really getting into the yeah. quads. Like I'm talking about like, let's get into the quads and let's, you know, move around really hard. And the travel was very firm. Mm-hmm. And I want you guys to feel that effect. When you stand up, you're going to feel it right away. You're not going to waste your time on a big clunky roller. That's all gimmicky. Totally. You're just going to get it done. And it's going to feel really good. And that's, um, and here's a cool stat for you guys. So the compound effect of rolling, I calculated. So for me, I've been rolling, okay, say for 12 years. Mm. So if I only roll two to five minutes a day, only three days a week, that's 1,872 massage. Mm. Just that. So now imagine if you did it every day for five minutes. And that's what I say. If you guys can just even do even if you can't do your activation, even if you can just go do five minutes before you go to bed, okay, today I'm going to roll my quads. Today I'm going to roll my back. Today I'm going to roll my calves. It doesn't have to be head to toe all the time, a full technique. Don't be stressed about it. Today I'm going to do this five minutes. If you can make it longer, if it's feeling really good, you want to spend more time. Like to give you an example, when I was broken, I would spend over 30 minutes on just my tibialis anterior. So just this muscle mm. here on a roller like this. Wow. 30 minutes just on that one spot. Just because it was that dense, that right. that restricted. Like you could get a hammer through my body. <laughs> yeah. I think I need a bulldozer to get through that. And that's why I created the travel roller because you need to put in that time when you're broken. And it's okay. You don't have to, oh, I'm broken. Well, yeah, my tissues are tight. We're all broken. Sure, sure. sure. We sit all day long. We're Mm. sitting right now. People are at their desk. And just by sitting, you're broken. Because your flexors are tight. Your quads are tight. Your low back is tight. And this is called lower cross syndrome, where we have weak glutes. We have weak (laughs) weak glutes. Weak core. Over tight quads. Over tight. And all we do is... Spinning, hardcore squats, front squats, and we load them, load them, load them, and you need to reverse that. So sometimes the only way of doing it is really <laughs> like spending half an hour on each quad. Mm. And it, I mean, I mean, this is an, an intense way, but yeah. I'm mean, putting, I'm trying to just give you guys an idea, that, like to put in that time to like really overhaul your body. Um, now is the time while you're 40, not when or you're 50, 50 or 60. Yeah, and I mean. <laughs> But in the time now, because then it's going to be so much easier um, to fix these injuries. And you know what? This fascia, it's always a continuous process because, mm. you know, if you were a golfer, if you play baseball, if you play tennis or your, your MMA, um, whatever you do, you have a repetitive movement that you've done totally. times, whatever it is, you know, unless we're a dancer, we have perfect alignment. Mm. Not everyone's like that. Even when we drive a car. On one foot, we're always doing this repetitive thing. So just remember, brush your teeth. <laughs> you gotta roll out. Yeah. 
keeping that fascia aligned again. And you know what? It feels amazing when you feel have no restriction. You feel you feel so much younger and more youthful when you are aligned. You have no pain. Totally. Like the earlier we can catch this, the better it is for everyone. But like, even if you're 60 and you've never foam rolled before, and maybe you think you're, you're fine. Maybe you think, oh, you know what? Uh, I wasn't a really big athlete or I never really worked out a lot, but it's still, you know, you're 60, but you want to be moving, you know, smoothly at 70. You want to be moving smoothly at 80. You want to still be moving at 90 and at a hundred. You don't want to be, you know, in a wheelchair when you're a hundred years old, you know, with, again, I always talk about the advancements of technology and science and medicine that we can be walking around, even jumping at a hundred if we do the, the stuff we need to do now. And, you know, being able to foam roll at home for five minutes, guys, listen, we're going to even just five minutes. That that's it. Nothing else. Like we're not even asking you for anything else, but five minutes. Sure. If you want to do it before your your warm up, um, you know, like you said, just kind of activate. Perfect. But aside from that, taking that five minute a day, like you know, going into your calendar and you know scheduling out. Okay, to, this is when I'm going to do this. You know, every day this week, right? Because a lot of things like in in our brotherhood, we do accountability, and I'm actually going to add this to the accountability now that you just said that because I think that recovery is one of our pillars. Recovery is something that. We need to focus on. So being able to, you know, first grab one of the travel rollers. Like, don't go out and get, well, you're going to talk, we're going to, I'm going to ask you about the types of rollers because there's so many out there, the rumble roller and all that stuff. But I like the travel roller. We have two. I just ordered another couple, I think, or one. And uh, you're going to explain to us as well about why this is so good. But having one at home that you can use anytime, five minutes, that's it. And, um, you know, following a routine. So let's, let's get to, um, I, lo- I love that it's only five minutes because again, a lot of people get overwhelmed, right? Something new. Uh, I don't have 20 minutes. I don't have 30 minutes. It might feel so good. You might just not even notice. You might just get into it and be like, man, this stuff just looks really good. And, and then just making it and you just, you like the way it feels. <laughs> you right. just do it more. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. But at least five, if you start with five, then you never know where you're going to get to. And then you just make it a habit. You know, 30, 40 days later, it becomes a habit. You're just doing it without even knowing. Um, so what are some, how, does, how does someone foam roll? Because I see there's so many different ways. I see that people are just literally rolling back and forth. There's people who kind of like sit on an area and kind of, you know. I see people just going at the gym, rolling their IT yeah. band. Woo! Yeah. And is this effective? No, it's not. It's, you know, the people see that happening and like, oh, this is what I need to do. I mean, the travel roller was designed to uh, replace, well, not replace, but be um, your own massage therapist or your skilled therapist. Right. So it's actually shaped the size of a therapist's right. forearm. And what we want to do is mimic a very specific movement or compression technique of a therapist okay. versus just an exercise. It's not an exercise. So what you're seeing people rolling their IT band or their quads um, is compression. And again, compression is just going to be back and forth like this. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and what we also want to do is doing shearing. So we have the roller. So we're doing compression. So we're, we're rolling, putting a limb on there. Because um, the, the travel roller is firm, it is, uh, you don't actually have to do a lot, right? So when it's, it's a big roller, you kind of need to, you kind of want to roll because you want to dig deep. But when it's a harder roller, you don't actually need that. So all you need is just your body weight, and applying a limb on top creates a lot more pressure. So then you're actually feeling a lot of stuff going back and forth. Right. And then so in this specific technique, you're going to be doing shearing. So, but you need the right roller. So shearing the travel is really grippy. So it, see how it it is grabbing my skin, mm-hmm. yeah. it's pulling my skin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's pulling my skin. And so this is creating a sideways motion. So if you're going into a skilled therapist and just, you know, a skilled therapist is really important. They will help you guide you when you do have injuries. So, you know, do go to them to help you with the issues. If you are injured, ask them how to use the roller better. Um, But that's what they do. So they're going to get in there and they're going to apply a technique Mm -hmm. that's specific. And so they're going to press compression and they're going to do a torque. And then they're going to ask you possibly to move your limb. So what you're going to do is compression, 
you're going to do shearing. So I call it just a rocking and rolling style. So you're going to right. rock, <laughs> yeah. rocking oh, like this and right. rolling like this. Okay. And then you can add a change of the limb as well. It changes the length of, you know, say if you're on your calves, it changes the length. So if you're rolling your calf, again, it's, it's compression back and forth. Wow. Wiggling. <laughs> right. Right. Rocking. While moving your limb, and I do have some videos to explain. You can link some of those. Um, how to actually do the proper technique, and that's um, what I promote. You need you need compression, shear, and torque. And this is what some of the top physiotherapists. You need those those sliding surfaces to get deeper into those deeper um, layers mm -hmm. to create a change in the fascia or, or the length. Um, and, and so those are the right techniques. If you're just rolling, you're kind of wasting your time. Like again. Totally. We don't have time we just need to have a performance effect so yeah. it, you know it should it hurt well if you're really tight or you're not used to the pain threshold it might hurt but remember this is only temporary as you you know break down these tissues it's going to start feeling better over time but then yeah. if you don't do it for a long time it's going to be painful again yeah and that's why so yeah that's important the technique because um you know, I started when I first saw foam rollers well, 10, 15 years ago, however long ago it was, um, you know, th that's what it was. It was just rolling, rolling, yeah. rolling. And then we spoke, we actually have a ebook that we created yeah. together. So um, we'll, we'll link that to you guys can download that for free. Um, but, you know, that you, you taught me, you were like, you were, you're showing me through, you know, our, our conversations and me watching your videos specifically how, to foam roll properly and then I you know would listen to a few other uh, experts out there or, or what have you and, and they would they would say the same thing you know it's not just the rolling the rolling will, will start will start everything and then you you know rock a bit and then you shear um, but that's amazing again because you know if you're just going and just rolling for the sake of rolling first of all you're wasting time okay you may be getting a little bit maybe a third or a quarter of what you want to be getting when you're doing the roll. And what happens is when you just roll for the sake of rolling and you continue the roll for the sake of rolling, you're still going to have those injuries, that tightness, right? Because you're not actually yeah. getting into where you want to get to. Deep enough. So when yes. you're just rolling, you're just going to these top layers. Remember, especially if you're a man and your quads, you have a lot of muscle, you have big quads, big shoulders, you're just going to be working the superficial part of the, of the tissues. You need to get to the deep structures. Mm -hmm inside underneath that are the ones that are you know, super tight in the in the quad like it's really really deep it's not just this top layers right it's connected um and and that's why you need a very firm roller mm -hmm. you do not need something that is big in diameter yeah. very firm so if you think of like a, a golf ball yeah. and you put on it it's gonna hurt a lot more than a big softball yeah right? yeah for sure a softball you're like, yeah, this is easy. No, no, no. Let's put you on a firm roller that is consistent. And then let's see your tissue change. I'm not the roller. And that was another problem. A lot of foam rollers, they would change form. So right. you stick in the middle of the foam roller because, and you think, yeah, I'm doing great. No, the roller just got softer and your tissue stayed the same. So we, we talked about, you know, the travel roller, which is amazing. We're going to get to that. But what are our other foam rollers out there? Because, I, you know, I'll go to the gym and I'll see what's called a rumble roll. Okay, no, let me rewind. Let me go back to just one thing before we go on to the next thing um, that we want to talk about. Is like, it is going to hurt at first, right? At first, depending on where you're rolling, it's going to hurt. But the five minutes a day, every day, you know, after however long it takes, it's not going to hurt anymore. You know, it's not going to hurt anymore. But you have well, to be consistent. It would hurt. Like, it feels good. Like, sure, sure, yeah. It's not, well, I can't and, say it's not going to hurt anymore. The pain's going to be less intense. But then right. you might want to kick up your performance at the gym and you might either re injure it or it might get tight again. But right. again, my quads, when I first was rolling, they were massive. The tissue was dense and dysfunctional. Mm. And so a lot of that, we want to turn over those cells to create more healthy and healthy cells that, you know, as you are rolling, it's not going to hurt as much because the whole system is going to be more functional. Right, right. Wow. Yeah, totally. So what, what, other, what are some of the other types of foam rollers that you yeah, can I see mean, out there? there's so many out there these days. It's like no. completely crazy and people probably get so overwhelmed. One right. is um, stay away from 
all the gimmicky stuff. Mm. So much gimmicky made in China, just not quality material made stuff. Right. So there's all the knockoffs <laughs> from yeah. China. And so, I mean, a lot of those can be laced with chemicals actually. Mm. So that's one yeah. thing that I want to just mention is because it could be made out of rubber, be made of toxic stuff that can leach into your skin because you're rolling in your skin right. tighter and go into your lymph system. So one, quality is really important when you're picking a fitness product. So a lot of fitness products can be very toxic. Mm-hmm. PVC, phthalates, all that stuff, rubber, it's not good. So one right. is what it's made of. Okay, yes, there's the rumble roller, there's the grid, there is you know, sticks, there's the guns, there's vibrating stuff. Mm-hmm. And Honestly, there's so much out there for choose. I mean, whatever works for you. One thing is, you know, having these, you know, different compressions and weaving patterns that they have. This is all marketing. This stuff, you're not actually going to feel that stuff um, when you're actually rolling. Um, Some people prefer like things with spikes in there. I personally feel like it feels violating to Mm -hmm. my tissues, and I prefer something that is more like skin. Right. um, So, all those other things for me, again, I'm biased feel artificial because it's rubber pointy things um again yeah. if that feels good to you then you know go for it um but what i created was something that feels like a therapist like yeah, yeah because so, yeah so let's talk about the let's talk about this why is this so amazing like what yeah talk, yeah so, so one is you wanted to reproduce um as a massage therapist so it has to be the size of a form of a therapist mm-hmm. and it's this length, this was the specific length that we designed that you can move around. Um, but then also the diameter. So you see the travel roller, it is 4.3. This mm-hmm. one's 4.3. Um, we do have a 3.8. Oh, okay. Smaller, even firmer, harder. Um, and it is it has this amazing, it's made of TPE, so thermoplastic elastomer. And so this is this really grippy, like, yeah. grippy awesome. and it's eco-friendly. So it's eco-friendly, it has no toxins, no smell, it's completely cool cell, washable, waterproof, and a replaceable outer covering as well. So if it gets damaged, we actually can just take this down. And if you are a hardcore crossfitter, or you can roll on a pipe, or you can bring it down to one layer. So there's actually, you can make it harder by having one layer as well. So you do a density, you can change the density, you can make it two layers, one layer, or a pipe. So that helps maneuver maybe on your calves. You want to have it harder um, or it just feels good the way it is. Um, but it's that grip. Honestly, mm-hmm. it's that grip combined with the diameter being smaller. So a mm-hmm. lot of foam rollers like the grid or even other things, they are bigger in diameter. Again, it's not going to be as effective because it's not smaller. It's not going to get deeper unless you're a big giant basketball or football player that's 6'6" you know, and over, then those larger diameters are actually going to feel better for you. Mm-hmm. But most of us are under 6'6", six, six, yeah. probably feel better with a normal size roller. And um, this gives you the ability to get it into your armpits, into the, the upper traps, to get into your hip flexors, to get into calves, quad areas where you can roll the entire body on just one tool. And then inside, it has a nice drawstring here, you mm-hmm. can actually store your acupressure balls inside there you go <laughs> you, awesome. go to the gym, you can put your keys your wallet your gym card your loop bands in here and you just bring this with you to the gym and that's why a lot of the top athletes love it they just whip out whatever tools you have inside there and then when you do want to massage a trigger point area whip out the ball put in your glutes and there are areas where you want to pinpoint and do a bit more trigger point release the balls and it's so convenient yeah, yeah. Friendly, and people love it. Yeah, the the this is again. I, I love this because, like, my wife. I mean, she brings it. She's a you know, Muay Thai fighter. She or she trains or trains Muay Thai four or five times a week. So she's always taking this. It's in the bag or it's in the in the truck or what have you. She pulls it out. She gets it done before training, and then you know. Um, but yeah, the fact that this is small, it's easy to to store that's one thing so you're not you know using up a ton of space big blue thing or what have you and listen i'm not hating on those big blue things it's just when i go to the gym and i see 50 people using it and they're disgusting it just leaves an indent indentation in my head um so i like this and then um yeah i bring it to the gym so i'll bring it to the gym go grab it 
you know, uh, use it, put it back in my locker. Um, but yeah, or if you go to the gym a lot, you know, this is perfect. You bring this with you and, and you can store stuff in it. And, um, you know, you get that five minute rule and it's perfect. The other thing I love about this too, is like, as you, so as you become more, I don't know what the word is, uh, flexible or not flexible, but like, as um, like, mobile and yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like you start off with this and then, yeah, supple. So you start off with this and the next thing you know, you go down to the second level, right? And so now you're, you're rolling with this and then finally it's like, oh, now I have to roll the PVC because I need to get even deeper because you've been rolling so many times. Um, like this. Yeah, look at that. And so when your outer covering even gets worn out, you know, yeah. you can just send your replacement sleeve as right. well. Um, we have this layer like this. Right. Yeah, that's perfect. I, yeah. And that just goes on like that. Perfect. So one layer. Yeah. It's really, really firm. So you can roll there, you can roll, yeah, so this is, that's what makes this amazing. So as you become healthier, you can get deeper just by well, using the PVC. The of it, right? So this will never change shape or form. We right. want you to change shape or form, mm -hmm. and this will always stay consistent, and you're going to get the results that you need all the time. Right. Yeah. That's it's awesome. awesome. My life has changed hundreds of thousands of people's lives, um, and people just love the tool. Yeah, I mean, that the, this is going to be one of those... Um, you know, I'm going to say this has to be one of those must have accessories. If oh, you're, yeah. if you're in my program and you're listening to this, you might as well just click the link now and <laughs> grab your app travel roller because um, I'm going to start implementing this into the program as uh, you know, as, as one of those things that we do on our rest days or just as a, uh, you know, a ritual that happens on a daily basis. But even if you're just, you know, a guy who's, who's, you know, trying to get in shape or you're an ex-athlete and you're all, you're broken, you know, cause like I said, we're all broken as we get older, specifically if we haven't done anything about it or if we haven't trained in a while, we're just getting back into training. This is essential because it'll help ease the pain of getting back into working out. It'll help with lactic, you know, your, your DOMS or what have you, lactic acid uh, buildup in the muscles as you're, you know, moving through and just, it will become a habit, right? A healthy habit of recovery, right? You know what I mean? So and it, and it feels so good. It, it hurts so good. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Specifically when you get used to it, what are some of the areas, like what are the key areas that people, I know you can foam roll everything, but what are the key areas in the body that these guys should be rolling? Well, remember we're one thing is everyone sits all day. So quads, 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 quads. It's right. a huge thing. It's, you know, because if your quads are giant and extended, it's going to change your pelvis. Mm -hmm. And we're sitting all day. We want to lengthen the quads. So lengthen the quads. Get in there. I know it's going to hurt the most. Um, but get in the quads because it will change your whole pelvis. And it will help you so much with your low back pain. Mm -hmm. Most mm -hmm. people have low back pain. Um, and I have it too. Yeah. I do. I have it. If I do not roll for a long period of time and I'm exercising... <laughs> I will, feel, I will feel it. And I feel my glutes not being activated. Mm -hmm. So roll your quads. Um, and then shoulders is awesome too. Upper back, um, definitely. Every day, honestly, if you could just roll through the upper back, it's like magic. You might get a big crunch, but it will help you align your spine. And not everyone can get to a chiropractor all the time. Um, and just a little roll through the upper back um, is amazing. Lower back, um, don't roll your lower back. If your lower back is hurting, Roll your quads, yeah. okay? And so, so quads, upper back, and then shoulders. So we store a lot of our stress in our shoulders. Right. So there's a couple cool techniques that you can do with a travel roller against a wall, getting really, really deep into the upper traps. Okay. And it's really, really firm. It grips the wall. You can get in there. Um, or you can use um, the balls in the upper traps. Um, right. And then calves. Calves feel really great, too. Um, you can get in there and just feel... Off of the I would say the top three would be quads, upper back, and and shoulders. Shoulders, but but you can do everything. You can do your hammies. You can do your you IT can bands. The lateral side of your leg. Right. Um, your deltoids. You can do your pecs, and you can yes. get in there. You can do your lats. Right. Um, everywhere. It, That's it, awesome. It's so cool. And um, so. I see that you have the ball. So we, we talked about foam rolling and that's kind of like, you know, the main thing, but there's also other tools um, that you can use, right? Like the, like the ball. Oh, yeah. for instance. So um, I mean, I have 
these are our newer balls. This is our TPR balls made of the same compressed foam as a travel versus the hard um, TR ball elite. So okay. it's really, really firm, but it's grippy. So again, you can get into the, the pack, grab the skin, do the torque. You can get into the tissues. This one feels amazing, grips the wall. This is the pro, it's a little bit softer. Um, so there's a wide variety of them. Also have the deluxe acupressure kit, which yeah. is it includes the travel roller. You get three density balls. You get a, a mobility band for rehab for your shoulders mm -hmm. for activation. And gives you, if you're new to foam rolling, gives you an hour and a half of instruction from beginner to advanced techniques. And uh, so there's so many things that you can do. And then, you know, you can add different things to your toolbox as you get along. But those are the essentials. Um, you need a travel roller and a ball for sure. Yeah. You're good. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, that, that's amazing. Uh, and again, guys, you know, let, let's all start rolling, you know, let's all start rolling and using the travel roller, because again, I think it's just a, a great tool. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Mark. I hope you have a great day and you are rolling today. Yes, I will be rolling today because I'm going to the gym right after we get off this phone to yeah. go and, and, and do a little workout. How can people reach you? How, like, give us your handle oh, where people can reach you. You can visit me at travelroller.com. My Instagram is travelrollergirl. And um, you can contact me off of the website. There's lots of videos on our YouTube channel at Travel Roller. You can check us out. Funk will give you a coupon code yes. um, for a discount off of the Travel Roller. And uh, yeah, connect with me if you guys have questions. I'm always here to help. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Aristel. That's amazing, guys. Get, start following her. You watch just to see the six pack. That's enough. To get, and then we'll get the uh, we'll get the, the the rollers for sure. But get the travel roller. Um, I will have links everywhere. If you're watching this or listening to this, there'll be links. Uh, you know, the outro will have information. The intro did have information. But yeah, man, let's get our rollers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a great day and keep rolling. Okay. Take care.